Hello gentlemen. Today's question, how to do the design automation? Most old fashioned way is hit the Alt F11 and start the Visual Basic for the application macros for the Autodesk Inventor. This is not installed in Autodesk Inventor. For security reason, the Microsoft Visual Basic module is not included in the Autodesk Inventor installer. That means it's obsolete way how to do the automation and I don't recommend that. Maybe you have some, some old scripts in the Visual Basic for the application macros and I fully recommend to you remake that in some modern way how to do the design automation. First thing what you can do is to use the iLogic. iLogic is a modern way how to do the design automation in Autodesk Inventor and it's great for the engineers or the draftsmen or designers because it's really simple and really similar to to Visual Basic for the application macros. You can just start up the new rule and start scripting immediately in your assembly part or or drawing. So it's really simple to use for the entry level engineers or software developers. If you are the software developer and you know how to use the integrated development environment, you know how to use the C Sharp, C++ or the Visual Basic itself, you can install the Autodesk Inventor SDK. SDK means a software development kit and you can find it in your computer. You can just uh, open up those two installers and uh, install the SDK in your computer with the admin rights. And you will be able to use the Visual Studio for the development your own custom plugins. So I have installed these two installers and now I will be able to open Visual Studio with the Autodesk Inventor templates. And now I will have the templates for the Autodesk Inventor project. I will just search for these templates and there is it. Three languages, C++, C Sharp and Visual Basic. I like the C Sharp, so I will start a new project and I'm able to, to work with my custom plugin and a custom integration to the Autodesk Inventor. It's not for the beginners, it's great for the software developers and software engineers, but it's a most advanced way how to handle your customization. So recapitulation about uh, how to do the design automation. First, most old fashioned way is to use the Visual Basic for the application and the macros. I don't recommend this way because it's really obsolete and old fashioned way and it, it will be better to, to use the something different. Second way is use the iLogic. It's for the entry level developers or for the designers and the engineers. It's really simple way and uh, you can just add the rule to your geometry and immediately start uh, scripting your, your code. Most advanced way is to use the Visual Studio and the install Autodesk Inventor SDK. It's high-end programming and you need to have a lot of knowledge to know how the computers work. If you have any question about the design automation, just send me an email or put a comment below and ask me for something. I started this YouTube channel yesterday and I, I want to know what are you interested in. So let me know about your wishes.